Uh, and you know, right now the tide is receding. You can see the sea foam blowing around. The water line is just beyond that. But tomorrow morning, as you said, is the first real test. And even a moderate nor'easter is going to compound the erosion this coastline has already suffered. Salisbury Beach at high tide this evening. It's not bad right now, so. When it gets bad, what's it look like? I mean, the streets are flooded. You know, it's uh, you'll get the, the sea foam coming up. So far, the foam has mostly stuck to the beach, but the wind is picking up, and so is the storm surge. A steady rain is building momentum, too. No one here is breathing easy just yet. I just really hope that we don't get uh, another storm that just completely washes away all the sand. And that has been the pattern of recent storms that have dramatically eroded the coastline. Like eight or ten feet of the dune went away. Water was coming up all the way up here. It's terrible. Homeowner Paul Tarshi took a hit a few months ago and is hoping the storm shows a little mercy this time. Crews have replaced some of the sand and added hay bales as a barrier. Now residents up and down the coast watch and wait. Hey, you never know what the ocean's going to do. It could come in here and take everybody's house away. I mean, there's no control over the ocean. You got that right as well. And I'll say if it does get bad, what happens every time is that that surf and the sand and the sea foam fill this street. All of these businesses and homes just steps away from the water's edge. We're live on Salisbury Beach. I'm Mary Saladna, WCVB News Center 5.